Ohio State and Oregon. These teams do not have a bye this week. Um, Ohio State's going to odds. And Ohio State opening is a two and a half point favorite. Ohio State plays Iowa this week. Classic look ahead. Ohio State's right around a three touchdown favorite. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oregon, they play Michigan State. Freaky Friday night. So if there's a benefit for Oregon, it's the fact that you get an extra day, I suppose, to prep if you want to take, or maybe an extra day to rest. I don't know, however you slice it. I will say this. This might just be round one. There's a very decent chance we we see this game three times. College football sickos, massive week seven on deck. Once you subscribe, we'll have game predictions. We will have reactions. We will have analysis all throughout the week and throughout the rest of the beautiful thing that is the college football season. We appreciate you in advance for being subscribed. I think this game is going to serve as a verifier for both sides of this operation because Ohio State hasn't really played anybody. Oregon hasn't really played anybody and struggled the first couple weeks of the season. This is our first chance now to actually run both teams through an appropriate filter. And I think when we talk about roster talent being even, I think that's true. However, I don't know if the matchups are all the way even. Because you look at the Oregon offensive line, they're trying to compensate for what they don't have up there right now. I think your tackles are really good. I don't know that as a unit they've played their best football just yet. There's a reason why they're getting the ball quickly out of Dylan Gabriel's hands. Okay, Now Ohio State... That defensive line is going to be uh, getting after it all night long. Make no mistake, they will be they will be cutting it loose. JT Tui Maloow, Jack Sawyer, they got some dudes, okay? And then on the back end now, that's something to watch because I think ultimately this will be a really good test of both quarterbacks. When roster talent's even, Dylan Gabriel, you're dealing with pressure. Can you be at the 4,000-level course of this offense as a language? Because if you're conversational, ball's out, we're not even worried about what's going on up front. However, if we're struggling, we're still trying to think our way through things, it's going to be a pretty high sack number for Ohio State in this game. Now, Oregon's secondary is allowing four yards a pass. So Will Howard, we said this yesterday, man, and the video hasn't come out yet, but I'll say this again. You brought him to Ohio State to be the difference maker. I hate the take. I hate the take of he's just got to make sure he does his job and keeps things going. He's got to keep the status quo. If you wanted someone to keep the status quo, you would have rolled with Kyle McCord. Because Kyle McCord threw less interceptions last year than Will Howard did. Now, Kyle McCord, I will say, he threw the two picks in the game. You can't throw two picks in the game against. I hear that. But I'm just saying now, Will Howard in spots like this has got to be the difference. It might be one play. It might be a drive. I don't know what it looks like, but I think Will Howard has to still be the difference for you in spots like this against elite-level talent. So Oregon-Ohio State is going to be a movie. I cannot wait for this one. This is one of those weekends in one of those games that you circled at the at the way well, back in media days. At the jump of the college football season, this is one of those games that you circled, and for good reason. So Big Ten action, Oregon and Ohio State. Game time, fast, easy, safe, effective, affordable, efficient, just straight up cool way to buy tickets. Whenever you use the Game Time app, you can tell the seat before you buy, or I'll say this, the view from your seat before you buy, which is the best way to go about your business. You're not sitting behind a pole. You're not sitting behind the Jumbotron. You're not purchasing your, purchasing your ticket, show up and then see the view. No, see the view from the Game Time app before you purchase. Also, you make sure you get the best price on your ticket. I said most affordable. I wasn't kidding. Same section and row, find a ticket for less than what you paid, 110% of the difference, Game Time goes ahead and credits you that. So download the Game Time app, take the guesswork out of buying tickets, all college football season, download the Game Time app, create an account, use code HARDCOUNT for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code H-A-R-D-C-O-U-N-T for $20 off, download Game Time today, last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed.